why. Okay, so Lawrence might be back for the title game if they get there. Justin Herbert certainly will be back at Oregon, the highly praised QB returning for his senior year, saying in a statement, quote, nothing could pull me away from the opportunities we have in front of us and announcing his return to Eugene today. He actually grew up one mile from Autzen Stadium, so right now it remains home, sweet home. Both Mel Kuyper Jr., Todd McShay have Herbert among their top two quarterbacks in the 2019 draft, but revisions are coming along with Dwayne Haskins of Ohio State. Herbert, if you haven't seen him, by the way, if you're a pro fan, just kind of checking in on him, will lead the Ducks against Michigan State in the Red Box Bowl. That'll be New Year's Eve at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California. The preeminent draft insider is here, Mel Kuyper Jr. So you tell me, the simple impact of Herbert withdrawing on this draft is what? Well, Zuma, first off, for Herbert, smart move to go back. He was based on, in the top 10, more on potential than performance. So next year with Tua from Alabama, and you think about where he can be next year, maybe number one pick overall. Dwayne Haskins now is what this draft's all about. That's the big impact of this Herbert decision is Dwayne Haskins, Ohio State. If he decides to come out, he becomes the number one entity, the only entity with the potential to be the number one pick overall or certainly in the top five of this draft. I think it in fact makes Arizona's pick number one that much more valuable because not Herbert and Haskins now. It's just Dwayne Haskins, Ohio State, as the number one guy. So all eyes will be on leading up to Thursday night, April 25th. We'll keep our eyes on that. Haskins last seen throwing for 499 yards in the Big Ten title game. I might need a reminder. Kev might. People at home might. Mel doesn't. The NFL draft is 120 <laughs> days away. Mel, thanks. Thanks, Lubin.